Are you looking to try new techniques or new lures? Fishing tips maybe? Or a tutorial on how to use a certain fishing product? Or you'd like to see some product reviews? Join a community of other anglers such as yourself. Check out PushingWake.com for more information. Welcome back everybody to another episode of Fishing Disabled. So today we have a product called the Bait Snake. Um, you've probably heard it, it's a fishing light that you can purchase online. Go to baitsnake.com and that's where you can order yours. Uh, Bait Snake Fishing Light is by Enlightened Outdoors LLC and they have six options available for their 360 Pro Series. They start out around 15 foot uh, with a 12 inch green 360 LED light starting at around $39.99 and they go up to a 30 foot cord with a 36 inch green 360 LED light at $89.99. You can also check out why you fish with lights, some testimonials. You can also become a dealer or find a retailer near you that actually carries these lights. So check out baitsnake.com and you can find more information on how to get your own. Now we actually tried out the bait snake and we really enjoyed using it. So if you want to watch these little video clips, you can kind of see it in action right here. As you can see in the video, they're extremely bright. So they work really well at around three feet and they work best in clear water. Okay, so we had the opportunity to use the bait snake out on a boat dock. Tried it out, see how it worked. Uh, we tried it on a pier, we tried it out on the surf, things like that. Now we did notice, if you watch in this video clip, that after about a certain amount of feet down, it actually kind of dies down. You can't really see the light or you can't see the fish around the light. Now there might very well be fish at the bottom of the light here, but we can't see them. So in murky water, it seems to be a problem for the light itself. Now, however, this is the green light. So you never know what the blue light might do in murky water, it might actually be a little brighter. And it's really hard to see. Um, it's pretty deep right here. It's probably about six, seven feet. And that's all the light I'm getting out of it. However, that's quite a bit of light still in the water. And the bait is definitely attracted to it. So it looks like it works best at about three to five feet. So we did notice down in murky water, it's actually kind of hard to see, but that's really not the problem with it. It works very well. As you can see the, the, from the pictures and from the video, it actually is very bright and it will attract the fish because the ultimate goal is to attract the bait so you can actually have the game fish come closer to the bait, allowing you to catch the fish. So pushingwake.com got us the best one that we could get our hands on. That is the 36 inch green LED 360 Pro with a 30 foot cord. Now the reason why we chose to get a longer cord is because we were going to be trying to pier fish out in Galveston like we always go to Galveston Fishing Pier and you can check them out at galvestonfishingpier.com. We like to drop the light down as far as we can and see if that helps us. 
So which brings me to the construction of it. And if you look at the construction and how it's built, it's got uh, some type of uh, like shrink wrap around the ends of it to seal it. Um, it is sealed. We didn't have a problem with any leaking or anything like that. And it does have the rubber seal around the cord as it's connected here. And it's flexible, so you can use it, you know, in any spot or any location. Uh, what we wanted to do is get a clear piece of PVC and put it down in the clear piece of PVC so it would be nice and straight out so we could put it in any position that we wanted to. Now you could probably find any use for this particular light. You can drop it off of a boat, you can drop it off a pier, on a shoreline, boat dock, things like that. I guess kind of what we did was the boat ramp so we could actually get our bait and not worry about snagging our cast nets. Now because the light is so bright, it actually attracted a lot of other people that actually came by and was watching us throw it down in the water and a lot of people were looking at the fish swimming underneath it and it was kind of neat. Now I'm going to show you real quick on kind of how bright it is. You're not going to get the best view of it, but I'm going to plug it in real quick and let you see. What we use is a 12 volt battery or a car battery or a 12 volt system or a 12 volt converter. Now we ordered the 12 volt converter as well, but unfortunately it uh, did not come in the mail. And I'll talk to you about that in just a minute, but I'm gonna plug it in and let you take a quick look and see how bright it is even with the lights on. Okay, so that should give you kind of an example of what it really looks like even just plugged into a battery I mean it's it's extremely bright and it works really well in clear water now like I said the murky water seems to have a little bit of an effect on it but not very much as long as you're in about two two and a half three feet of water and you're just catching your bait you're probably going to be good to go so which brings me to the cons of this now this is not something that affects the product at all. The product seems to be very good and works really well for us and I'm, work, has worked very well for other people. You can actually see the testimonials on their website. The product problem that we actually had was a shipping problem. That first the bait snake was shipped to the wrong address and then the product that we ordered with it never arrived. We have called and made communication, things like that to try to get it resolved and we still haven't had it resolved. So on the shipping and the problems with the shipping, I'd have to say that's that's a big deal for us because we, we haven't even received the other product yet and it's been almost a month. So that might not be the problem with you. So I'm not going to say that's a big problem at all. That's strictly up to the way the shipping and everything goes with the company. As for the communications with the owner or the people who sell the product, the customer service is a little lacking in that department. However, they will work with you if you give them a call and try your best to get the product and everything resolved and the shipping. So thank you all for watching another episode of Fish and Disable with me, Flip Masters. And check out baitsnake.com if you'd like to get your hands on one. And don't forget to check out pushingwake.com to check out all the reviews that's going to be written down on this product and many other products, plus fishing tips, tricks, how-tos, and join the community there. You'll really enjoy it. Thank you all for watching.